Good afternoon. Today is Tuesday, August 2nd, 2022, and this is the first um, meeting of the month for the City of Tempe Hearing Officer. My name is Vanessa McDonald, and I am the Hearing Officer for the City. I'm going to read something into the record before we jump into our very brief agenda this afternoon. The City of Tempe Hearing Officer is authorized by Arizona Revised Statutes and the City of Tempe Zoning and Development Code. The hearing officer has the duty to carry out the provisions and the intent of the Zoning and Development Code and the Tempe City Code. The hearing officer is granted the authority to conduct public hearings to decide upon the abatement of code violations occurring on properties within the City of Tempe. These violations include, but aren't limited to, deteriorated landscaping, inoperable vehicles, deteriorated structures, storage of junk or refuse, or deteriorated swimming pools. Abatement actions are brought before the hearing officer by the city's code compliance division, typically after numerous attempts at contacting the property owner to obtain voluntary compliance with the code. The hearing officer may issue an order directing the owner, occupant, rental agent, property manager, or other responsible person to remediate a code violation or authorize the city to abate the condition giving rise to the violation. The cost of the abatement is the responsibility of the owner of the property where the violation occurred and may be collected as an assessment against the property found to be in violation. On today's agenda, we only have two items. We have a set of minutes from July 19th, 2022, and we have a single property abatement. One more thing I have to let you know is that any property owner who is aggrieved by a decision of the hearing officer may file an appeal within 14 calendar days after the hearing officer has made a de decision. As such, the deadline for appealing any decision rendered today is, is 3 p.m. on August 16th, 2022. Abatement appeals are heard by the Board of Adjustment, after which they may also be appealed to the Superior Court of Arizona. The property owner has 14 days to either file an appeal or bring the property into code compliance. If neither of these things happen by this same date of August 16th, 2022, the property will be abated by the city. Uh, joining me this afternoon virtually, this was a last minute decision to do it virtually. We had some te technical difficulties from the chamber. So we had to call an audible and um, bring the meeting online, but virtually we have Cassidy Hernandez and Drew Yoakum from Community Development. As I mentioned earlier, we just have two items. The first is a set of minutes from July 19th, 2022. I had a chance to review um, those minutes. Cassidy sent them to me after our last hearing, and I believe that they accurately reflect what took place at that hearing. So I'm going to go ahead and approve the minutes from July 19th, 2022. The second item on our agenda this afternoon is a request for approval to abate public nuisance items at the Russell property. This property is located at 1347 West 15th Street. The applicant is the City of Tempe, represented this afternoon by Michelle Van Etten from Code Compliance. Michelle, are you there? Good afternoon, Madam Hearing Officer. I'm here. Can you hear me okay? I sure can. Thank you. Well, thank you. Uh, as you stated, my name is Michelle Van Etten. I'm a code inspector here with the City of Tempe Code Compliance Division. And I'm here this afternoon to request a 180-day open abatement uh, to remedy grass and weeds at 1347 West 15th Street here in Tempe, Arizona, 85281. Uh, Ma'am, I initiated this case on June 1st, 2022, when I observed uh, tall grass and weeds in the front and rear yards of the residence, both were visible from the street and sidewalk. I issued a notice of correction to the listed owner. Uh, that notice was subsequently returned by the Postal Service about two weeks later with a note on it that said deceased. Uh, so then I googled the listed owner, a Robert G. Russell, and I found that the Maricopa County Indigent Decedent Services was requesting information regarding next of kin, uh, anything or any other information regarding Robert G. Russell from Tempe. 
Uh, I phoned them and I was told that a Robert G. Russell, who resided at 1347 West 15th, had passed away on January 17th of this year, and no next of kin had stepped forward and all of his assets, including the home, were in probate. Uh, so then I posted that notice to the front door just in the off chance that a family member or maybe a responsible party, banker, whoever, uh, may see it and comply. On June 29th, 2022, I posted a notice of intent to abate uh, to the property. I haven't received any contact from any responsible parties next of kin to the decedent. Um, the only contact I've had is two neighbors who saw the notices and they're eager to see the grass and weeds uh, remedied. Um, I did take some pictures this morning and with Cassidy's help, I'd like to show them to you now. Okay, thank you. So I can see the timestamp that these were in fact taken um, this morning. And okay. it's, it's still pretty much in the same condition. You can, flip, you can flip forward um, yes. through your photographs. Okay, so this is just a, the front yard. It's a little hard to see. Um, I'm actually quite tall and they're up to my shoulders. So I'd say oh, they're wow. about five feet tall. Um, and then I have a second photograph uh, that is going to be the side of the driveway. Those are not quite as tall, but it's taking up the entire area. That's just uh, from the sidewalk. You do see clear into the backyard, the tall grass and weeds. And then the final is just I walked up that little path that you see there and uh, took a picture of the grass and weeds in the backyard. Okay, there's no pool back there, right? Uh, no, Madam Hearing Officer, there's no, no pool, there's no other issues like that, no security issues. Okay. Uh, I did include in the bid, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I did include in the, the bid that the, um, the company would repair that side fence there just to a little bit of a deterrent for individuals to go in the back. Good. Yeah, I saw that in the abatement paperwork in my packet, and I'm glad to see that it'll be secured um, at least a little bit more. So yeah, thank a, little, you for, a little bit more. Yeah, so thank you very much for taking the photographs um, this morning. Uh, Mr. Yoakum, I'll ask, but I pretty much think the answer is no. Is there anyone on the line wanting to speak to this agenda item? No, Madam Hearing Officer, we've received no communication at this time. Okay, thank you. Well, clearly we have an owner who's deceased, no potential family members, no other responsible parties. So uh, for the benefit of the neighbors, we um, want to make sure that this yard stays cleaned up and um, compliant with the city code. So I'm going to go ahead and approve your 180-day open abatement contained in request CE22. Um, two, two, three, three, two, five. So thank you, Ms. Van Etten. Thank you, Madam Hearing Officer. That concludes our agenda. Mr. Yoakum, any announcements? Yes, just the one. Um, thank you, Madam Hearing Officer. Our next scheduled meeting is uh, scheduled to be on August 16th at 5 p.m. That will be held in the Tempe City Council Chambers at 5 p.m. Okay. Great. Well, thank you guys very much for being flexible and throwing this all together at the last minute, but I think we got it done okay. So with that, thank you. Um, we're adjourned. Have a good night, everyone.